Hey, it's Sam Backy here. Welcome to this video. Now, if you're not gathering leads from your website right now, or if you have websites, whether they're blogs, whether they are you know sales pages, and you're not collecting leads from those pages, or you're not um, presenting another secondary offer when someone leaves that page, you're leaving money on the table. This is where Optin Architect comes in. This is a software that uh, I've known for a long period of time, I've been using for a long period of time, but this is the first time I've actually been able to tell you about it because they're finally doing a special and um, they've offered me some really cool bonuses to offer to you as well um, down below. So I wanted to show you why the software is so cool. Basically, Optin Architect makes any opt-ins for your website really easy, whether it's a pop-up, whether it's a blog, whether it's a sidebar, um, or site-wide. So say, for example, I wanted to do a pop-up campaign. These pop-ups are different templates that I could actually have on a sales page, for example, popping up when someone left my website. Or it could be timed, so if they were on my website for five or 10 seconds, suddenly I could offer them a discount or an additional course or something free so I didn't, uh, they didn't leave without returning to my website. Um, about 70% of your visitors on your websites will come to your page and leave and never return. This is where this software comes in and allows you to make use of that by capturing them as leads or getting them to take some sort of other uh, action. So these are the templates that are available here. All of them are really easy to edit, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. This is the um, blog templates, all right? So if you're running a blog, this is what you'd put up as your pop-ups. Um, this could be whether you're ranking for SEO, whether you've got Google traffic going to it, this is going to be useful for that, whether you've set it up in InstaBuilder, Optimized Press, all of those. Um, now this is for the sidebars of your website. So if you've got a blog or a website and you want a uh, sidebar like I have on my website, say here for example, then you're able to add these types of opt-ins and these are extremely effective for generating additional leads. Now if we go back to here, you can see all the different options that are available and if we go again, the site-wide bars, these are available down here. Now the reason I'm telling you about this is not only because this is a great deal, but we are focusing a lot on opt-in and lead building over the next couple of weeks. For me, um, it's been a, a big focus of my business over the last few months, generating more leads and looking to, um, to do more basically from uh, the sites that we have currently and I want to be able to share that with you. So let's take an example. Let's just take one of these templates that, that we like the look of. Say this one for example looks cool. Let's go with this one. So we, we click use this design. Then Optin Architect loads up this editor. It's really easy to edit. You can even check uh, this to do a two-step opt-in. So you could enable two-step opt-in and you could actually have two different steps available when people are going through. So for now, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to edit this text. So say for example, we wanted to edit this, we could give away a free report, we could give away some tools, a free video. And one of the things that I like to do is actually give away a free presentation. So um, get my 30 minute presentation on how to turn more leads, uh, more visitors into sales. Absolutely no prior knowledge required, make it happen, become a premium member, we could edit that as we wanted to. Then we go down to the configuration section. We can choose how this pops up, how it actually gets added to your website. So we can either do it um, manually, you know, I will trigger it, I'll choose, so you could enable delayed, so it would pop up after 10 seconds, um, or you could do it when a user leaves the page, so if you're, uh, a user is leaving your website, this pops up and shows them that, or it can be popping up when the site is loaded. I really like to do these after about 10, 15 seconds. Uh, they work really well. Uh, when I, was, I used to do a lot of testing with solo ads, for example, and that's when I would use this when user leaves the site. If you are doing any solo ads yourself, I do highly recommend doing this when a le uh, user leaves the site. What I would often do is I'd actually add, I'd remove the opt-in completely, just have a downloadable report, an ebook, and then when they access the ebook, have an opt-in where they can opt-in um, a link to that. And I was finding that I was getting probably about 20% of the leads that were going to leave my website actually coming into my list, which is a really good response, and it's really easy to do that with the software. We can go down, delayed activation, enable delayed uh, ap uh, activation, we've done that. Prevent opening, pop up after user closes it. Yep, that 
sounds good. Prevent opening after user submits their data for 356 days. So if a visitor sees this, you can actually prevent them from seeing it again for a certain amount of days. I'm going to disable that because occasionally, you know, someone will see it, then they'll want it later on, and uh, it needs to be there. Then we can enter the details, what we want, enable full name, we can even enable the Facebook sign up if we wanted to and give them a second option to be added as well. We go into integration and we can choose our different um, autoresponders that we want. Now to get this form HTML we basically go over to Aweber, GetResponse or wherever we're getting this code from and add it in here. For me I use um, Entreport which this works with, um, also I use Aweber which this works with as well, and um, my wife use get, uses GetResponse, which also works. So um, there's two different settings here, you can either add a new integration through the API or just add the HTML. So I'm going to go across to Aweber and grab that right now. Okay, so I'm in Aweber right now, I just go to my raw HTML version right here, I untick, include beautiful form styles, and we can paste this in. Now it's important to note that this will work, and I talked with Mark about this, I asked him will this work with all autoresponders, and he said yes, it'll work with any autoresponders you have, they've got it fully integrated with any of the solutions that are out there right now. Now if I want to redirect users to somewhere like an offer or the download page after, I can enter that in right here. Cool, I can add that in and immediately once someone actually subscribes to my list, they're able to go through and access this as well. Finally, if we want to add any custom code, any custom features, we can do that. We could even add a timer if we really wanted to. Um, we could say this page self-destructs in and we can add that there. Then we can have our layout options. Now disable opt-in architect promotion on opt-in. Yes, we don't want them promoting their own offer. Um, we just want to have our opt-in without anyone knowing where it's come from. So we're able to do that. Really simple and easy. Then we go save. All right, now once we've clicked save, it's going to save, it's successfully saved, and we can go to save and exit right now. Now when we go to here, it's going to exit us out of that menu, it's going to take us to the statistics for our website of how many opt-ins we're doing, and then from there, all we need to do is grab this opt-in, code right here, we copy it, and we can take it to any WordPress site, any HTML site, um, anything like that, and we'll be able to add this code in and it will work effectively. They've even got instructions taking you through how to use it, but I'm going to show you just quickly how to actually add it into a WordPress blog. So here we go. Here we are in WordPress. Now to add the code, all we do is we just go to the text option here and we paste it in. That's all you need to do. You just paste it into that text option, you go to visual, and you won't see anything other than this opt-in art um, uh, architect. Now, the other option is if you were to um, plug this into, say, for example, Optimized Press, we can actually enter it into the code in Optimized Press as well, and it will be added just like we have right here. So it's very easy to add the code. It's literally just a line of text that you need to add, and you're able to add that in, and it will work perfectly for what you're looking to do. All right, so if you're excited about this, if you like Optin Architect, what you've seen so far, you can get access to this. It's $100 off for 24 hours, and it includes also a number of different white label products down below. I was, I was thinking about promoting this, but then when I saw and talked to Mark about what he was going to offer as bonuses today, I decided that yes, this is something I definitely want to get out to everyone so you can have a look and see for yourself whether this is something you're going to want for your business. It's perfect if you're dealing with clients. It's the perfect type of really simple sell if you're working with clients, and it will be a good uh, software for your business. Really simple, um, really easy to add these popovers, pop, uh, pop unders, um, all sorts of effects. So this will make it really good. Um, finally, I just wanted to say that this is a 24 hour promotion. There'll be $100, $100 off and then after that it is increasing. So make sure that you register down below for the early bird so you know that when this uh, actually is going live and make sure that you get in as soon as possible so you don't miss out on any of the bonuses or the discount price. Thank you for listening. Uh, this is Sam Backer. I encourage you to go down the bottom register or if you see the pop-up popping up, uh, make sure you register through that. And I'll see you on the next page where I'll give you a preview of the sales uh, video of this software. This is Sam Backer. See you later.